Okay, now everyone keep your voices down. Because if the subject of this episode finds out we're looking at him, he's not gonna like it. These are the basics on the Paranoid Stunticon Breakdown. The original Breakdown toy transformed into a Lamborghini Countach. It was initially designed for the Japanese toy line Diaclone, but that series was cancelled before it could be released, and so the figure instead made its debut when Hasbro acquired it and released it as part of the third year of the Transformers toy line in 1986. Breakdown was part of the automotive Decepticon team, the Stunticons, five robots who could combine into the giant Menasaur, with Breakdown able to become either one of his arms or his legs. A profile for Breakdown was written by Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky, which characterised him as the Stunticon's paranoid, self-conscious scout. He was constantly afraid that everyone and everything on Earth was watching him, seeing right through his cover as a robot in disguise, to the point that he sometimes wished he was a human so he could fit in better. He had the special power to generate vibrations with his engine that caused other machines to malfunction and shut down. Breakdown and the Stunticons were introduced into the Transformers cartoon late in its second season, when they were built by Megatron to challenge the Autobots' rule of the roads. The cartoon played up Breakdown's anxious disposition by giving him a tendency to stumble over, misuse and mispronounce his words. They're gawking at us, how mortifying! The word Breakdown is mortifying. His biggest moment in the series came when the Stunticones were captured by the Autobots, and Breakdown used his vibratory powers to deactivate the energy bars of his cell, enabling him to escape and free his comrades. The Stunticones also received a major marketing push in Japan, where they starred in several exclusive pieces of cartoon-adjacent media, including the direct-to-video special Scramble City, and the sequel series, 1987's The Headmasters and 1990's Zone, though none of them gave Breakdown any solo time in the spotlight. The Stunticones were also featured in the Marvel comic book, with supplementary stories published in the United Kingdom's version of the series explaining that the Decepticons were inspired to create them by a vision of the future from the Autobot Matrix. Sadly, Breakdown never really got the spotlight here either, only appearing in a small handful of issues before the discontinuation of the Stunticons' toys in 1988 led to them being quietly phased out of the comic. However, the toys were re-released in Europe and Australasia a few years later in 1990 as part of the classic series of reissues, which led to the team returning for a few new stories in the British comic. There were plans to re-release the toys again in 1994, with bold new colour schemes as part of the Generation 2 line, but these figures were cancelled. Only Breakdown would see a limited release when a small quantity of the figure in its new teal and purple colours was made available as an exclusive at the very first officially backed convention, BotCon, that year. Botcon was Breakdown's first turn in the spotlight apart from the other Stunticons, but it wasn't his last. In the 21st century, he's continued to see plenty of solo action, and has gradually become the standout member of his team. Before that, however, the first use of Breakdown's name apart from the other Stunticons was for a new character, essentially unconnected to the original, featured in 2005's Transformers Cybertron. Usually when a name was reused in this way it was so that Hasbro could maintain their trademark on it, but in this case they'd actually already lost the trademark to Breakdown's name and so had to spell it differently for this character, as B-R-A-K-E down. This breakdown was a racing vehicle from a Cybertronian colony on the speed-obsessed planet Velocitron. As seen in the Cybertron cartoon, he was an elderly bot who had been a great racer in his day, who put his wisdom and experience to use coaching the Autobot Hotshot to win Velocitron's great racing tournament. 
after Cybertron, all subsequent new incarnations of Breakdown have been based on the original, including a live-action movie version featured in 2009's Revenge of the Fallen toy line, who also used the alternate name spelling until the original was reacquired in 2010, and a Transformers animated version, a recolor of animated Rodimus Prime released at BotCon 2011 as part of an exclusive box set of animated Stunticon figures. The most notable new breakdown, though, was the one featured in the Aligned Continuity, a multimedia project launched in 2010 made up of multiple interconnected series. Breakdown debuted in this continuity as a playable character in the video game War for Cybertron. Then, in 2011, he joined the cast of the Transformers Prime cartoon. But where the game depicted him as the traditional small skittish sports car, Prime drastically reinterpreted him as a hulking, hammer-handed bot who transformed into an armoured truck. Characterised as an eager, ruthless warrior who served as assistant to the Decepticon medic, Knockout. This change in both appearance and personality was down to the fact that the Prime character had originally been conceived as a new version of the Decepticon bruiser Lugnut, but had been retooled into Breakdown during production. Ancillary Media reconciled the discrepancy by explaining that Breakdown had upgraded into this larger form to become a better match for his new rival, the Autobot, Bulkhead. The two enemies clashed several times in the series, but would also wind up fighting side by side after Breakdown was captured and vivisected by the human criminal organization Mech and Bulkhead unexpectedly came to his rescue, wanting to save his rival's life purely to make sure that he, not Mech, would be the one to eventually take him down. Unfortunately, the pair's final showdown never happened, as budget issues with the series led to Breakdown being killed off early in the second season in 2012, dismembered by the treacherous Decepticon Arachnid. Afterward, Breakdown's remains were recovered by Mech, who used them to save the life of their fatally wounded leader Silas by cybernetically fusing him with Breakdown's dead body. But Silas's schemes ultimately landed him on a vengeful knockout's lab table, where the medic's evil experiments turned him into an energon-sucking zombie, before Arachnid finally put him out of his misery. For some reason, Hasbro chose not to produce a full-size toy of Prime Breakdown, instead only releasing a small-scale Legion-class figure. But a full-size toy was created for the Japanese market by Takara Tomy, available in both regular and Silas versions. This figure did eventually make it to Hasbro markets in 2020 as a special release commemorating the show's 10th anniversary. It was also Takara Tomy who continued Breakdown's story after the cartoon when they released a new figure of him in their Unite Warriors line in 2016, a recolor of Combiner Wars Off-Road, which turned into a pickup truck. This was Breakdown reborn, resurrected after his death by the dark power of the monster planet Unicron and now able to combine with a group of Decepticons drawn from across the multiverse to form the giant robot Grand Galvatron. Unite Warriors is just one of several further appearances Prime Breakdown has made in the year since the cartoon ended, illustrating how the character has really taken on a life of his own apart from the original. In 2015, he was even incorporated into the world of IDW Publishing's comic books, which reimagined him as an inhabitant of Velocitron, like the Cybertron character. He initially appeared in IDW stories as an unaffiliated bot who emigrated to Cybertron seeking a better life after his bulky, slow form made him an outcast on his fast-paced world. After IDW rebooted their comics in 2019, though, Breakdown was again reinvented for their new universe as a Velocitronian member of the Decepticon terrorist group Mayhem. This story inspired a new Breakdown figure in the Transformers Legacy line, a recolor of that series Bulkhead, which transformed into a military transport truck, released in 2024's Mayhem-themed Doom and Destruction subline. 
Significantly, fans had been shipping Breakdown and Knockout together since Prime, and IDW paid homage to this by making their versions of the characters an official couple. One place Breakdown didn't appear, though, was in Prime's sequel series, Robots in Disguise. When the Stunticons featured in this series in 2017, the unique identity Breakdown had carved out for himself in this continuity meant he was absent from the group. Instead, the team included two new characters based on aspects of the original G1 Breakdown. Wild Break, who had his nervous personality and vibration powers, and Slash Mark, who bore his white, blue and red colour scheme. But even as his prime counterpart has risen to fame, the original breakdown hasn't been completely eclipsed. He's continued to receive multiple new toys in both original G1 and infamous G2 colour schemes, including a retool of the Universe Autobot Lamborghini Sideswipe, created as an exclusive for BotCon 2010, a brand new figure released as part of a new set of fully combining Stunticons in 2015's Combiner Wars, and another combining figure in the Legacy line in 2023, as part of a second set of Stunticons based directly on the character's designs from the original animated series. These toys have been complemented by an assortment of appearances in tie-in media, though Breakdown's rarely been featured outside his group role as a member of the Stunticons and a part of Menasaur. But Breakdown would eventually break away from his team again for another solo adventure in 2023, when he appeared in Transformers Earthspark. This version of the character was a cocky racer, and an old friend of the Autobot Bumblebee, with whom he was still close even though they'd wound up on opposite sides in the war. After the war ended, the two bots went into hiding to avoid capture by Earth's military, but the reckless breakdown repeatedly broke cover to enter races around the globe, risky behaviour that ultimately brought the military down on them, and led to the repentant breakdown allowing himself to be arrested in order to cover his buddy's escape. He's gone through a bunch of changes over the years that have seen him rise to become the most famous, best recognised member of his team. But Breakdown would still probably prefer it if we'd all keep our optical sensors to ourselves. And those are the basics on Breakdown. Lots to choose from, but which one's your favourite? If you're not afraid of everyone watching you when you do it, leave your pick in the comments. As ever, subscribe for more, support the show on Patreon for early ad-free access to new videos, and I'll see you next time for more history and lore from the world of the Transformers.